Hi Trader, Tina here once again from shortmetina.com with my daily recap TGIF. Uh, let's recap the overall markets. I'm going to try to go extremely quickly, but, but before that, I want to say thank you for tuning in. All right, so what are you looking at right now? Right now, you're looking at the S&P 500, the SPY daily chart dating back to 2017. What a week, right? Uh, again, I am going to say it. It's almost like this week never happened. Today, we closed that. 291.60 last Friday we closed at 292.62 so we're essentially flat week over week uh I get it granted we've had this bounce here from uh, Monday's lows of 281.72 so the market ex definitely had this nice bounce here but we have not been able to get over that resistance level and I spoke about it quite a few times in the past we can call that number 293 to 297 we tried to surpass that yesterday we went as high as 293.62 uh didn't quite get as high today but we still got into the 293s going as high as 293.24 uh before pulling back again to close at 291.62 as a reminder it's like this week never happened week over week we're essentially in my opinion flat so heading into next week I am still cautious and I am still short uh, look out for it um, when I when I eventually when this short position was res eventually resolves itself however it resolves itself uh, I'm going to do a blog article on why I went short where I went short and sort of my thinking behind my short position uh, so definitely look out for that. So anyway, heading into next week, I'm going to be paying attention to obviously that 293 uh, level. I'm not quite sold on this rally just just as yet, but if we can get above 293 next week and hold with a decent uh, amount of volume, then I'm going to say, well, perhaps I was uh, in error to go short the market. But again, I went short as a hedge to protect uh, what I would be, what I consider my long portfolio. And a lot of uh, our long, not a lot, but a good deal of our long positions, in particular this week, has worked out in our favor. In our favor, we've actually hit our targets uh, on a few trades. Uh, and again, look out for that. I'm going to be talking about those trades in the upcoming week. So that's kind of it with the SPY, paying attention to 293 heading into uh, next week. So far, I'm still short. I'm going to write a blog article on my short, why I went short, you know, where, and the sort of mechanics behind it. So look out for that. What else? And then we have the uh, IWM daily chart uh, off about 1.28% uh, on the day, closed at 150.59, like I've indicated in uh, the last few videos. I'm not going to concern myself too much with stuff that's going on in the middle. I'm just going to concern myself with two price points. One, what I consider to be support, which is around that 144 to 145 area and resistance that that resistance that has held for the most part for the uh, latter part of a year. That resistance level is around 160. Again, we've had a um, very difficult time or we've had a difficult time actually getting above that. You can see it here, uh, the, um, the arrows, the notes. Uh, times in which we've tried to get above 160 but to no avail so again not going to concern myself too much with the stuff in the middle so heading into next week my eyes will be on 160 are we going to be able to get over it whether it be next week or next month like th that's what I'm paying attention to uh, resistance of 160 and support of around uh, 144 or 145 uh, if it resolves itself either which way that should dictate the direction of the market in my opinion so if we break above 160 for me that means okay time to go long if we break below 144 145 uh, that might signal more of a pullback to come. What else? And then we have Bitcoin uh, off a bit on the day, off about 1%, uh, a little under 12,000. There really isn't much to be said about Bitcoin. Again, uh, for me, we just really have to stay above that support level of uh, $10,000. That's this line right here. It's a little bit crooked. Let me straighten it out for you. Uh, and um, if we can stay above 10,000, for me, things look relatively good. At this point, it's uh, it's August 9th. At this point, I thought we would have been above uh, 13,000 to 14,000 or at least at that, uh, but we're not quite there yet. We're hovering right under 12,000 for the past few days. We've actually gotten to 12,000 and then pulled back, including today. Uh, we went slightly over 12,000 before pulling back. So as long as we can stay above uh, 10,000, continue to press on that 12,000 mark. Eventually, in my opinion, we're going to break free and 12,000 will be the new floor versus 10 to 11,000 being the new floor. So once 12,000 is a new floor, look at I think 13,000 is right around the corner. So I'm still bullish and long Bitcoin what else 
All right, and then we have uh, ticker KHC daily chart is off. We're off about uh, 6% on the day. Uh, you can see that the stock has actually been in, in a decline since topping out back in February of 2017 around uh, $93. So clearly, uh, had you have recognized that top, you would have made a lot of money because it's lost a lot of ground uh, since, again, topping out back in February of 2017. And it doesn't look, based on the chart, it doesn't look like the selling wants to stop. Uh, you see, we pulled back 6% um, today, yesterday, you had that gap down so sitting here at 2650 heading into next week if you're long uh, I'd be paying attention to uh, today and yesterday's low we can call it around 26 hours if we break 26 on volume uh, then I would not be surprised to see craft sitting at $20 so for now I'd wait for the dust to settle I know Warren is in the stock but again if you look all you have to do is take a look at the chart. You can see the stock has been in nothing but a decline. Uh, for me to go long, you would have to see a reversal in trend. And right now, that has not happened. Once the stock starts making higher lows, then perhaps it has bucked the trend. But for now, it seems as though the stock uh, still has uh, further decline to go. So I'd stay away. What else? And, now, and then we have uh, ZTS. I just kind of wanted to highlight once again why it's wise to buy stocks that are making new 52-week highs. I've been talking about ZTS uh, since the stock was trading around uh, 110, 111. We actually went long this particular trade in the premium member community when the, the stock was trading in the 90s. And I said, because the stock is making new old uh, new 52-week highs and all-time highs, it's a stock that you want to hold on to. And yet again today, stock made another 52-week high going as high as 125.88 before pulling back. At this rate, I still see the stock perhaps hitting 150 in 2019. Does that mean you should go long now? Absolutely, I'd wait for the pullback. You can see it here, stock was consolidating from June, uh, and then you had the breakthrough on confirming volume. So I'd wait for it to pull back and then perhaps go long. I still see a uh, 150 price target, what else? And then we have uh, ticker UBER daily chart off about uh, 6%. Uh, the stock reported earnings, I, or rather the company reported earnings, I want to say yesterday, you see this gap down here, closed at 40.05, uh, going as low as 38.71, but we didn't retest uh, the IPO's low of uh, around 36. So if you're looking to go long, if you're long, I'd be paying attention to one support now resistance of around $42. If we cannot, if we cannot get above there, for me, this might be a short. What else? All right, so let's uh, wrap it up and round it out with ticker RKDA, a uh, huge winner on the day. So congrats to the bulls. The stock is up about 125% uh, on the day. So again, huge move, closed at 451 today, going as high as, uh, what was today's high? Going as high as 497 before pulling back. So we closed in some respects relatively close to the high of the day. So if you're on the sidelines looking to get long or you're long, for me, what you're going to want to be paying attention to heading into next week or Monday in particular is how the stock uh, operates in pre-market and how the stock opens up. So if we open up um, above, rather, if we open up above 451 and we can hold that and we take out uh, today's high of 497, more than likely, I think we're going to run to six because that's where you get into or uh, run into resistance, right? You run into resistance, in my opinion, uh, around, uh, you can say six to 650. If, however, you uh, wake up to, um, not tomorrow, this is the weekend. If you wake up on Monday and find that the stock is gapping down and we open up below 451 and we can't rebound, then chances are at some point within that week, you're going to perhaps fill the gap of around 213. So that's how I would uh, pay attention to ticker RKDA if I was long or on the sidelines or perhaps even short. All right. So that's kind of it. Let's wrap it up there. Tina here once again from shortmetina.com. If you enjoyed any portion of this video, I'd like for you to do three things for me. One, comment in the comment section. Are you into your RKDA? Are you looking to get in? How about Uber, ZTS? Do you like the chart? Bitcoin, what did you think about the SPY? Did you play the market this week? Comment in the comment section. Uh, secondly, I do videos daily. So if you want to be notified, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel at Short Me Tina. And lastly, lastly, my friend, I've been trading for well over 15 years. So if you think you can learn anything from me, then head on over to shortmetina.com. Sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for the support. I will talk to you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend and stay safe.